Morning everyone. I'm just really sad I can't be in class today. I have a meeting that I have to go to. So I figured that if I couldn't be there in person, I would be present in video form. Today we are talking matter. Why do we care about matter? Why does matter matter? I'm glad you asked. Matter is just about everything. Matter is the stuff that makes up all the things around us. So this little metal container that I have sitting next to me is matter. This spoon that I have randomly next to me, also matter. The sugar in this little container, are you getting the idea that this is not random, that I have these items on purpose? Because I do. The sugar that I have in here, matter. This beaker mug with water, beakers matter, the waters matter. This bag full of air also matter. Anything in my office around me is matter. The pen on my desk, my laptop sitting next to me, um, the TV mounted on my wall, the printer sitting next to me, all 500,000 books in my bookcase. Everything around me is matter. The air all around me is matter. Matters pretty much everywhere. It's the stuff that makes up just about everything around us. Um, so a more formal definition for matter is that matter is anything that takes up space or has volume. And that's a not a complete definition, but a starting definition because we can't always see matter. Now, the most obvious example of that is gases, right? Matter can be a gas. So think the air around you. Um, we can't see it. We can't really touch it. We move through it. It seems like it's empty space. But I can know that something is there because when I fill this Ziploc bag with air, suddenly it takes up a lot more space. It fills. I know that there is something inside of here inflating the bag because if there weren't nothing in here or if I let that air out, that bag flattens. So matter has volume. It takes up space. So even when we can't see it, we can tell that it's there. There are ways to detect it. Another example of this is I can take matter that I can see um, using my sugar that I have, right? So I've got this sugar. We can totally see it right now. It's this nice little white crystalline powder. We use it for baking. We use it to sweeten our coffee. Um, but I can see it. It's visible right now. But if I take this and I add it into my water here, oh, that might be too much. I don't want to do too much because I'm drinking this water and I'm not really a fan of sweetened water as it were. But as I stir, and I think you can see it a little bit on the camera, you can see the sugar particles. You can kind of see them spinning around in this little vortex. Um, Bum, 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 bum. Give a little bit of time. But what you can actually see happening over time is that those sugar particles are disappearing. We can't see them anymore. And you may know that this process is called dissolving. We're dissolving the sugar and water. Um, but as of right about here, I know that there's sugar in here. I know that I added sugar to here but I currently can't see that matter. It has disappeared visually. However, if I wanted to demonstrate that it is there, there's a lot of things that I can do. I could measure the volume of this. I could see how the volume changes when I add sugar. I would see a change in volume after adding sugar. So matter isn't always visible. It can't always be visually detected. We can't always feel it or touch it but we can measure it by finding volume. We can also measure it actually by measuring its mass. If you think back to the beginning of the school year when we talked about mass, mass is literally a measure of how much matter is in something. So if I have a bag with air in it, which I deflated it so there's no air in here anymore, I can measure the mass of the air in this bag. I can find out how much matter is in this air. Um, 
So matter makes up everything around us. It has volume. It takes up space. We can measure it. We can measure how much of it there is by finding its mass. And it's got three main phases, which you've seen all of them. You know all of them. Matter can be a solid, right? Like my mug. It can be a liquid, like the water in the mug. Um, or it can be a gas, like the air in this bag. There are other phases and states of matter, um, but those are the three main ones that we tend to discuss and talk about in science class.